Hello friends, the 7 star Hisuian Typhlosion Terror Raid event is now back in Scarlet and Violet for its second phase. We're going to go through all the details of this event as well as the best Pokemon to solo this with in your game. So if you missed this 7 star Terror Raid event last weekend, it is now back in Scarlet and Violet for its second phase running as of recording this video from the 10th of November until the 12th for its final time that it will be appearing in the games. It is going to be level 100, will have its hidden ability, and the moves Infernal Parade, Flamethrower, Will-O-Wisp, Focus Blast with additional moves Sunny Day. It will have that Mightiest Mark, of course, the main reason for picking this up while you can. And of course, the first time we are seeing Hisuian Typhlosion available, catchable in Scarlet and Violet. It is only catchable once per save file, and it will have a modest nature with that Fire Terror Typing. The big thing about this outside of being able to grab the Hisuian Typhlosion is the item drops. You're going to be able to get a lot of really high cost items, level up candies, and also those vitamins, terror shards, ability patches, and other items that you're going to be able to sell for a lot of money or just stock up on, which is going to help you out for the upcoming Indigo disc release, which is happening next month. So a really good event to farm. And of course, we'll go over some of the best solo Pokemon in today's video. So you can do that in your own games. So to access this in your games, you're going to need to come down to your Poker Portal, then come down to Mystery Gifts and check Poker Portal News. This will connect you to the internet, of course, and update all of your Terror Raid dens in the area. So you'll be able to locate it on your map after doing this and head out to it. For the builds that we're going to feature in today's video, of course, we've already featured some in our previous video, but we've got a couple more to feature today that are going to make soloing this a little bit easier for you and just some different options, of course. The first one is going to be Cantonian Ninetales. Of course, those of you with the DLC pack part one, the Teal Mask, you're going to have an easy way of getting the Vulpix and Cantonian Ninetales in your games. Otherwise, you might have to trade with friends if you haven't got the DLC packs already or imported in from home if you've got access to it from previous generations. So Cantonian Ninetales, Fire Type, it is going to have the Terra Type Ground. Shell Bell is the held item. Make sure it is level 100. Make sure you do hyper train all of its IVs so they're all at 31 do that in Montenavira. Of course, all of the builds will be down in the description as well if you want to take a closer look at them after the video. Then the moveset that we're going for with this Cantonian Ninetales is going to be Snarl, Nasty Plot, Fake Tears and Terror Blast. Flash Fire is the ability that's the big important one on the Cantonian Ninetales. That's going to give you immunity to all the fire type attacks and the Will-O-Wisps coming out from the Hisuian Typhlosion. EV spread is going to be 252 HP, 252 special defense with a modest nature with the rest, obviously, EVs put into special attack. I do get asked in the comment section quite a lot what the vitamin numbers would be for this EV spread. So it will be 25 vitamin in HP, 25 vitamin in special defense. And then you're going to use the two health feathers in HP, two Clever Feathers in Special Defense, and then the rest, which are going to be the six left over, which will be those Genius Feathers, which will all be put into Special Attack and make sure it has got that modest nature. But that is the Hisuian Ninetales. We'll jump into the raid in a moment, and I'll show you exactly how this one works. Next one up is Dash Bun. I think a really good option, not as consistent as maybe a lot of people expect it to be. Still a good option. It can run through the raid pretty quickly. But I've tested this quite extensively and it has been hit or miss most of the time. But decent option going into the raid. But in my opinion, I think some of the other options are a little bit more consistent if you are aiming to solo this to farm for the items in your game. But the dash button, really good build. Nonetheless, going to have that fighting terror typing on there. Metronome is the held item, level 100, of course, as well. The only move they're going to need on this one is body press and an EV spread of 252 in special defense and then 252 in defense. This one's got a bold nature because just make sure that you've got a nature that's boosting that defense stat so you're getting the most out of body press and the ability well baked. So the basic premise of this build is going to be just to spam body press. That's all you're going to do throughout the raid. The Typhlosion, Hisu and Typhlosion will spam Will-O-Wisp very early on in, in the raid. So you're just going to be getting those defense boosts every time you're hit by a fire type move, which is boosting the power of body press. You'll get to the stage where you can terrestrialize and you're going to be doing really good damage at that point before the shield goes up. And just continue to do that after your stats are nullified because you'll get those boosts back. You just have to be careful about the Infernal Parade if it does burn you. The Hisuian Typhlosion is going to be doing a lot of damage and it can slow you down. It can put you in a position where you're going to need to go for a heal cheer. And it also can knock you out with 
two infernal parades if you are burned so you need to watch out for that you need to make sure you are timing those heal chairs and you don't really want to lose your terrestrialization because it is going to slow you down so much and like i say a decent option going into the raids a decent build and something i did want to feature because it gives you a different option the next build that we're going to feature for consistency in these raids is going to be gudra we have featured this and the next three pokemon in our previous video so if you want to see how they actually interact in the raid you can go back check out that video it'll be linked in the description of course and you can see how to use these Pokemon in the raids. But we've got the Gudra here, which has the water terror typing, Shell Bell as the held item, Tearful Luck, Rain Dance, Acid Spray, and Weather Ball. Weather Ball can be interchanged for Surf, Scald, or even something like Muddy Water if you would prefer. Hydration is the ability on there with an EV spread of 252 in Special Attack, 252 in Special Defense, and the rest in HP with a modest nature. Next up, we have the Manaphy as well. Going to be Water Terror type on there, level 100 again. Shell Bell as the held item. Moveset is going to be Rain Dance, Tail Glow, or that can be Take Heart, Fake Tears, and Surf. Hydration is the ability on there with an EV spread again of 252 in HP, 252 in Special Defense, and the rest put in Special Attack with a modest nature. And finally, one of my favorites is the Vaporeon, again with that Shell Bell held item. Terra typing is Water, level 100, Rain Dance, Calm Mind, Fake Tears, and Surf are the moveset with an EV spread of 252 Special Attack, 252 Special Defense, and the rest put in HP with the hidden ability Hydration. So you're going to need an ability patch on your uh, Vaporeon to be able to get access to that. But they are the builds. As I said, they're down in the description if you want to take a look at them. But lots of options for you to go in and solo this raid with over the weekend. Grab yourself the Hisuian Typhlosion. Now turn zero, we're going to come in. It is going to launch off a Will-O-Wisp. It can be into any one of the four targets, but not to worry. It's not really an impactful turn, especially because if it's into you, you've got that flash fire ability. So it's not really going to affect you at all. Now, what we're generally waiting on here is that turn where it nullifies its stat drops on its side of the field. So we're kind of burning time here. We're going to use Snarl for the first three to four turns until we do see that turn. Because we're going to lower the special attack on the Hisuian Typhlosion. So it's not doing as much damage as it normally would. As well as ticking down our Terrestrialization counter at the same time. Meaning that we're going to be able to Terrestrialize just that little bit quicker as well as kind of give us a little bit of a buffer so we're not taking as much damage you can see the focus blast doing negligible damage there from those special attack drops just bear in mind when it does nullify the stat drops on its side of the field will be hitting that little bit harder but after that turn uh, hopefully like i say turn three or four will be concentrating on going for those fake tears it's a little bit like the setup with the vaporeon uh, if you watch that video if not then we'll go through it here and that's the turn we're waiting on remove negative effects from its side of the field now we want to concentrate on going for those fake tiers we're in a pretty healthy position at this stage so we're not needing to worry about getting knocked out this turn or the next turn so we should be able to get three off and if you get lucky like we do there with that focus blast it can miss it's not the most accurate of attacks so we'll go for another fake tiers and ideally we're just getting the special defense down on the history and typhlosion to minus six you reduce it by two stages every time you use a fake tier so three of those it will be enough and we'll be able to take a focus blast here it does decent enough damage but like i say we're not in any danger of getting knocked out this next turn but big thing that we want to do is just make sure that we get these drops off before the shield goes up as soon as that shield is in effect we are not going to be able to use fake tiers any longer so we need to prioritize it at this stage we use three of them now well, now what we want to do is we want to just go for these snarls because we have to wait for the shield to go up, which should happen after this turn. And then we are waiting on it nullifying the stat boosts on our side of the field before we set up our nasty plots. Infernal Parade coming out, but because of these Snarl drops that we've already got onto the, the history and Typhlosion doing really not much damage at all. There's the shield set up. Now we've got about two to three turns now before it kind of removes the stat boosts on our side of the field. So we want to wait to set, like I say, our nasty plots up after this turn takes place. So we'll just keep spamming the snarls. It's just going to mean that you're going to be able to kind of tick away your terrestrialization counter. It does steal some of your terror orb damage. So it does mean there's a few extra turns to go before you can terrestrialize. But at the same time, you just want to be juicing the attack power on the Typhlosion the whole time with these snarls, as well as waiting for that one turn where it does negate the stat boost on your side of the field. And after that, you're going to be in a good place just to set up those nasty plots and then run through the rest of this raid. So there's the turn we're waiting for. Nullified stat changes and abilities on your side of the field. 
Now we can start setting up, not the fake tears, the nasty plots. So we want to boost our special attack by two stages every time we use this. We want to use it three times in total. And then we're going to be able to kind of terrestrialize and uh, start cutting through this soon typhlosion pretty quickly. Like I say, you might get fortunate some turns with the focus blast missing. If you do, that's a bonus. It's going to quicken things up for you. And even if through this process, you are in a position where you get knocked out, don't worry too much. You just want to be in a healthy position. You want to wait for the turns like we have before you start going for these nasty plots. And then you're going to be in a great spot to start cutting through it, terrestrializing, and then really doing some huge impactful damage. And you can see here, I'm not taking too much damage at all. Now, if we're in a healthy position here, we can make a judgment call and go for an all-out attack here. We've got those nasty plots set up. We've got the fake tears onto it. Go for an all-out attack cheer. We know we're not going to get knocked out unless, heaven forbid, we get a critical hit this turn. Hopefully, we don't see one. That's the worst that could happen. But we knew if, if it isn't a critical hit, we're going to be able to take that. Now we're in a spot where you can see the stats on the Hisuian Typhlosion. Minus six special defense. We are plus six special attack. We've got that all-out cheer uh, active. And now we can Trastalize. And now we can go for a Terra Blast into the Hisu inside Flosion. And why we've chose Terra Ground on the Ninetales is you could go Terra Rock, but then you'd be weak to the Focus Blast. So that's kind of one of the reasons why the Ground is probably one of the more beneficial types. And if the Sun's in effect, if you go Terra Water, it's going to be weakened. So you kind of, this is probably one of the best Terra types to go for, in my opinion. Like we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> enough to break the shield there. We're in a good spot with the uh, the raid timer as well and with one more terror blast you only really need to use two terror blasts throughout this raid with the cantonian nine tails and you're going to be in a great spot uh, we do take a focus blast but again because it's uh, minus three special attack it's not really doing too much damage and with one more terror blast we'll be able to pick up the raid and close this one out and i would say it's probably about the same sort of speed as the vaporeon build and it's very consistent. It's probably is just as consistent as the Vaporeon and the Gudra, in my opinion. Um, but for those of you that are a big fan of Cantonian Ninetales, it is going to be a really fun one for you to use. And like I say, I've used it throughout the weekend and had a lot of fun running through the raid farming for the events with this particular Pokemon. And it is as easy as that. So if you follow the, the kind of the guidelines, there are going to be variations, as you know, with these RNG can play a big factor in them as well but it is as easy, easy as that to do it with this particular build so to respawn the dens all you're going to need to do is come into your home menu then down into system settings down into system down into date and time make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is set to off click into date and time and just toggle through with a hit that okay button don't change anything in the settings and then just come back into the game and all your dens all respawn and that will mean that the fire seven star terror raid then will respawn as well so you can just locate it on your map and then head straight over to it and continue the same with any one of these builds and you're going to have an easy time doing it bombing this event over this coming weekend so that is everything for today's video friends i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you find some of the new builds that we featured in today's video very useful of course like i've mentioned they're all down in the description below but let me know what your favorite pokemon to farm this hasoon typhlosion is and uh, if you've got anything different that you've been using, I'd love to hear. We've had some great suggestions on a previous video that people have been using and relying on. But if you've used any of these, let me know. If you've got your own builds that you've been using, let me know as well. I would love to hear. But with that, it will be the end of the Hisuian Typhlosion 7-star Terror Raid event after this weekend. And it hopefully means that we will get one final 7-star Terror Raid event announced, if not more, before the Indigo Disc comes out. I don't know if we'll get anything announced this Sunday when this event ends, but hopefully we do. If we do, of course, we'll cover it here on the channel as soon as that does drop but thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your weekend enjoy this raid event while it's still running and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye